I said leave him! Leave him! Stop! If Yusa Sif is whipped one more time, then we will all stop working. Must keep an eye on Ninifer Kepta. He may try to exact revenge on User Seif. Work is finished. Prepare to return. summoned me? Things are being done in the palace I'm not aware of. My lady, I have become old. And like the past, when I kept my ears and eyes open, I... Stop it, Karimama. I have been informed that palace residents are sending clothes, medicine, and food to use our safe. What is worrying in that? It's not bad. It's not worrying. Why did we send Yusar Sif to prison in the first place? Was it so he could have fun? My lady, I'd forgotten. If Yusar Sif has a good time in prison, he will never learn to obey you. We must think of something.
I'll turn prison into hell for you, Sarsif. Not over them. Take the old clothes off first. You don't need a new shirt. That one is good. No. On the contrary. This shirt is not suitable here. I should dress like the other prisoners. It's not my size. Exchange them if they aren't fitting you. God's greetings on you. What do you want? Why are you here? Listen, son. Do you have a prisoner named Apophis here? I don't know. Who are you? Are you related? Uh, yes, I am a relative of his. He's been missing for a while. We don't know if he's alive or if he is dead. His family and friends are very worried about him. Well, we wish to find some trace of him for his wife and his mother and children. Excellency Kitterman, what are the names of those two inmates in solitary confinement? Why do you want to know? Someone is here looking for his relative, Apophis. I thought he might be one of those two. What's the matter? Who are you and what do you want with Apophis? I'm looking for him. He's missing. I'm his relative. Come in and we'll see. Let go! Let go of me! What do you want from me? Are you a priest from Amon's temple, or a relative of Apophis? I'm his relative. Take him away. Let me go! Leave me alone! Guard! Let go! Ride fast to Excellency Potiphar. Tell him that we have arrested someone. Someone looking for Apophis. Yes, sir. when you see him. But for now, you are our guest. You can't keep me here! Open up! Open up! Guard, take him to the opposite cell.
That's Kimini, the Amon priest. He is the right hand of Agmahu, the high priest. Why is he asking for a pappas? Now I am certain the attempt on Amenhotep's life was devised by the priests of Amon Temple. Be careful that nobody sees him, and no news of him gets out. As you wish. Bring Apophis and Inarus to the torture room. Rascals! The curse on you! I hope you'll be destroyed! I am foolish for hiding the names of those who made me do it. While they do not think of me at all. Wretched. You know that if they find you, they will kill you to keep you silent forever. And you expect them to rescue you. Come on. Let's go. Hurry! Where are you taking us? You'll find out. Come on. Yes, Your Excellency. A priest in Amon's temple. Kimini was asking the guards here about you today. Why? I don't know, Excellency. I don't. I don't remember anything. Really, I don't. Perhaps I can help you remember. I haven't done anything! Excellency Potiphar, I haven't done anything! Let go, I know nothing! Believe me, I don't know anything! Please, Excellency Potiphar! I know nothing! Believe me, I don't know anything, I don't! Please! Excellency Potiphar! Please! in the beginning, but I convinced him. I was to poison the Pharaoh's food and Inarus his wine. I did it, but Inarus didn't. His fear at the dining table ruined our plan. Inarus hadn't opened his mouth, everything would have worked.
Why did you change your mind and tell the Pharaoh about the plan? Be because I had heard the Egyptian Pharaohs have a semi-god status and one cannot kill gods. Your Excellency. Take them to the public ward. But be careful. I'll need them as witnesses. <laughs> You'll need to be careful that their names are not revealed. Their lives might be in danger. Certainly. What do we do with him? Keep him in solitary until I have talked to the Pharaoh about him. Where's Yusasif? I want to see him. Summon him now. No, no. I want to see him from a distance. Yes, sir. Follow me. All the prisoners and guards love him. Everybody loves Yusasif, but he doesn't love everyone. He loves and respects the poor and the needy as much as he fights the oppressors and the cruel. He is always either helping the other prisoners or preaching to them. Today, Kimini, one of the priests of Amon Temple, went to Zavira prison. And as per my orders, the guards arrested him. I went there as soon as I was informed. Apophis confessed that he wanted to assassinate the pharaoh on the orders of Ankhmahu, and that he forced Inarus to help him. I think that now, is time to take action against the temple. I doubt if we can overcome the temple easily. The temple has great wealth and can easily mobilize a big army against you. I predict tens of thousands of casualties. Your Highness, we mustn't underestimate Amon's influence over the people. What then? What should we do? Do we keep silent and do nothing against this high treason? We must wait for a good opportunity. Nobody must find out about the arrest of Kimini, Apophis, and Inarus for the time being. We'll keep them as witnesses and use them at a suitable time. Father, do not hesitate. We mustn't give the priest time to mobilize troops against us. I have plans for the temple priests, and I hope the chance arises as soon as possible. I suggest we invite the priests here and confront them with the prisoners. If he confessed to being in contact with the temple in their presence, you can arrest them here and imprison them. We'll behead them here. Why prison? I do not agree with killing them. Imprisoning them will neutralize their conspiracy.
The kind heart of our young crown prince can never agree with bloodshed. But what choice do we have? Sometimes it is necessary to punish traitors. I agree with the young Amenhotep. If Apophis confesses in front of the priests, we can do whatever we see fit. Get prepared for the meeting and the feast quickly. What's the matter? Something new has happened? I heard that you, Sir Seath, enjoys a very pleasant and comfortable situation in prison. I witnessed that today. He is very dear to the inmates and a good help to the guards and wardens. But we sent him to be punished and penalized in prison. Do you think you've shackled and belittled Yuzasif? Then you're wrong. You've saved Yuzasif from yourself. He's turned Zavira prison into a garden. He can manage well not only Potiphar's palace, but prison. I am happy Yuzasif has been freed from your trap. He is free. surrender to me. He's not being punished, so he gives in to be saved from it. You have accepted defeat very soon. There are still many ways to try. While I have a fool like you as my advisor, the result will always be the same. I do everything to meet your satisfaction. I just want your dream to be realized. Oh, all right. Don't be offended. What do you suggest we do now? Don't let him enjoy prison. Take away his comforts. How do I do that? Bribe Zavira guards to be hard on you, Zarsif. Do you think that will work? One must try different ways. I'll do whatever is necessary. I imprisoned you, Zarsif. To break him, not punish him. I can't bear his separation at all. As long as prison is a garden, Yuzar Sif will not obey. Why don't the gods do anything to free us from prison? I don't understand. 
What's the use of Amon? I don't blame Amon. You are to blame if you expect a lifeless piece of rock to help you. What is the difference between the rocks we break and Amon? Amon is powerless, and others do everything for him. And yet you expect him to help you? <clears throat> then in whom can we take refuge when we need help? If not Amon, ask. Think. You need to find a wantless god. A mighty god who can solve your problems. Can we find such a god? The gods Amon, Ra, and Isis are all we know. You don't have to search. He's always here. The god you're talking about, does he confiscate people's money by force? And does he, like Amon, take beautiful women? The priests of the temple of God you're talking about do they tyrannize the people? The god I'm talking about does none of these things and is against them all. He is the benevolent and omnipotent. What is it? You want to be whipped again? It's important. Important? If it isn't, then you better prepare for a whipping. All right. I agree. Come. Have you heard what Yuzar Sif says? No? What is wrong? Everything is wrong. He doesn't believe in the great Amon. He ridicules and belittles him. How do you know? I heard him. He openly propagates monotheism and believing in the unseen God. Just listen to his talks secretly for a few moments. Listen, Jennifer Kepta. I think Yusasif is an honorable man and cares about nothing but helping others. In fact, since he came to Zavira prison, the condition of the inmates in the prison has improved, and the counts of troubles and misconducts has decreased. Hmm? What about the faith of the prisoners? I'm worried for their faith. <laughs> faith? No. 
You're worried about your bullying and dominance over the prisoners, not their faith. If you fight or insult Yusasif once more, you'll be punished severely. You're fine this time. But next time, you'll be lashed. What did you want to tell Excellency Ketterman? He was trying to get Yusa Sif in trouble. He tried to instigate Kidderman. But it was paid no attention. I heard you spoke badly of me to Kidderman. I will do anything to destroy you. You know, I never wronged you. I just tried to stop you doing something wrong. The spite you nurture in your heart will darken your soul and your heart. I want your friendship. Friendship? I'll hate you as long as I'm alive. I will never be your friend. All the same, I'm still hopeful. Lady Zaleka, Excellency Potiphar's wife, wishes to visit the prison. Excellency Kidderman. Yes? Lady Zaleka, wife of Excellency Potiphar, is here to visit the prison. Show Her Excellency in. Greetings, Lady Zaleka. God's greetings on you and other guards. Welcome to the dilapidated, forsaken Zavira prison. Considering you, Sarasif's presence here, I don't think you can still call Zavira a dilapidated, forsaken prison. Wherever he steps in, he renovates that place 
Yes, my lady, I must admit that is an undeniable fact. Yusa Sif has revived our prison and is now respected by everybody. Yusa Sif is a disobedient slave. We imprisoned him to punish him so he will obey. Not to have a good time in Zavira and be a master. <sighs> but my lady, prison is a prison. And as long as the prisoner is deprived of freedom, it is not an easy torment for him. Besides, my lady, the prisoners at Zavira are constantly forced to work very hard in rock mines. And that is the hardest torture. Excellency Kidderman, Lady Zuleika has come to Zavira today to ensure the suffering and torture of Yuzar Sif at any cost. But, uh, don't understand. What torture, exactly? Lashing. I want him to be lashed so that I can hear him moaning. Yes, my lady, right away. I am obedient to your command, not Yusa Sif's adherent. Please stay here. I will be back. Use our sif. Lady Zaleka has come, and she insists on seeing you be tortured. My efforts to dissuade her were in vain. I'm at your disposal. I use a sieve to the column in the middle of the prison. What are you doing? What's happening? They have to lash me. Be forbearing. They have no choice.
enough. That's enough. Untie him. Forgive me. I didn't want to hurt you. I had no choice before Lady Zaleka. She may have noticed fake torture, so I had no choice. It's all right. Use a seed. As soon as she saw you being lashed, she shouted, Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to hear it. She's a strange woman. Neither her anger nor wrath are like those of the cruel, nor her kindness and affection like those of lovers. Her reasons are never clear. They punished you for Lady Zuleika? swords and a hundred arrows do not do to my heart what one day of separation does. I don't know what to do with this restive heart. One day you told me to imprison you, Sir Asif, and I did. The same heart now tells me to free him. But I can't. Why did I imprison him? Why? 